she's very self-absorbed, um, not in a tr kind of traditional way that she's, you know, obsessed with the way that she looks or whatever. I mean, she, she, that's a given, obviously. I think um, that she's, you know, into her physical appearance, but she's just, I think, very much absorbed in the idea that her um, dreams are, you know, that she can kind of manifest her own destiny. John has, um, you know, created this kind of fantasy world as a means of escaping what is in front of him. Um, she does the same thing by, you know, sort of creating this idea of the perfect, perfect future, the perfect life, the perfect man, the perfect family, perfect house, and all of these things that, you know, she is entitled to and really, you know, doesn't, is unable to actually see, you know, the forests for the trees, so to speak. I think she's unable to really see who, or really necessarily care who John actually is. As women, we sort of expect certain things out of a man, um, like to kind of take care of his business, to be responsible, those things. But some of these other ideals are, are um, they don't leave room really for, um, they don't leave room for, for the humanity um, of, you know, relationship and the complications of being in a relationship and of, and, you know, just the fact that relationships are complicated and people are complicated. And, um, you know, I think when we're so dogmatic with our ideas of what we're meant to have in a partner, we really kind of miss out on the opportunity to, um, you know, to kind of grow with somebody. What really upsets Barb is, uh, is the fact that she's been um, lied to, and that's that, and she, you know, that that was the, you know, she says it several times. That's the one thing that, you know, she makes very clear in the beginning. Don't I don't you know don't lie to me, and you know everything will be great. You know I can just I'll make your life just exactly how you want it to be. I'll be the perfect girlfriend, whether that's true, you know. I think it's impossible to be the perfect girlfriend if you're not really open to the fact that your partner, you know, is going to come with his own baggage or whatever, um, you know. But that's, you know, in her mind, that's how it works. And I think the fact that he lies to her is, um, you know, it's just she's co completely devastated by it. It's such an amazing time on this job. Um, I think partly because this is one of the f first times, I mean, I, when I was younger, I worked with a actor director before and I, I had such a wonderful time with it um, just because I think that an actor and particularly Joe is so sensitive to the process of, um, f you know, characterization, finding the character, um, the kind of taking the time the space that's needed to find a performance, um, the, uh, you know, the, the benefit of doing maybe one more take just to see, just to see what it is. He's so, he's been so incredible. Um, you know, it's been an amazing experience working with him as an actor as well, because he's t seems to be, have some kind of, I don't know, like battery that runs in him that is just like, powered by his passion for what he does. 